the cylinder has an outside diameter of 2500 millimeter and a wall thickness of 20 millimeter and it's fabricated from stainless steel which has the modulus of elasticity of 193 gigapascals and Poisson's ratio of 0.27. We want to determine how much is the change in the diameter and the length of the cylinder after we pressurize the gas or liquid inside this vessel. Okay, first I'm going to write down the data that we have for this case. External diameter is 2500 millimeter, wall thickness is 20 millimeter, and pressure is 5 megapascals. Internal diameter, which is the parameter that we use for in our equation, is external diameter minus twice of the wall thickness, and that would be 2460. The radius would be half of that. Now let me determine strains in longitudinal direction. Strain in longitudinal direction is PD over 4TE or PR over 2TE based on if we use radius or diameter multiplied by 1 minus 2 nu. Now I'm going to plug the values. P is 5 megapascals, R is 1230 divided by 2 thickness modulus of elasticity which has to be converted into megapascals multiply that by 1 minus 2 nu. So strain will be determined to be 366 micro epsilon in the longitudinal direction. In the hoop direction, remember this. For stresses, we have learned that stress in the hoop direction is twice of stress in the longitudinal direction. But that relationship doesn't exist for strains. It is not twice of strain in the longitudinal direction. We need to determine that. So that would be PR over 2TE multiplied by 2 minus nu. And then I'm going to plug the values, and that would be 1378 micro epsilon. All right, now I want to determine deformations on each direction. First, how much is the deformation in the longitudinal direction? What is the definition of strain? Strain is deformation divided by initial length. We have determined strain. And we know how much is the initial length on the line direction of that vessel. So I can determine how much is the deformation by multiplying strain by the length. So 366 multiplied by 6000 millimeter. Make sure that you convert 366 to epsilon. So we multiply that by 10 to the minus 6. And length should be converted into millimeter. And that would be 2.2 millimeter. In other words, the length of that vessel is getting longer by 2.2 millimeter. Now, let's determine how much is the change in the diameter of that. Diameter is related to the hoop strain, and that can be determined in a similar way. Strain in the hoop direction multiplied by the initial diameter. And that would be 1378 times 10 to the minus 6 multiplied by the diameter, which is 2500 millimeter and that would be 3.44. So that would be the change in the length and the change in the diameter.